Well, this certainly won't help the Airbnb company. <laughs> Here are true reviews. Hi there, folks. Welcome back to Rich Review. So my latest film for you guys here now, and it's my 30th review of the year so far, and this is called The Rental, and this is co-storied, co-written, and directed by Dave Franco. Yes, that Dave Franco. And this, as we see in the beginning of the film, a startup company that's led by Charlie, played by Dan Stevens, and Mina, played by Sheila Van, about, oh, who starred in A Girl Who Walks at Home at Night, are looking over an Airbnb rental in a nicer area. And you think to yourself, okay, how are these people not romantically connected? Mina brings along Tr Charlie's brother, Josh, played by the guy who apparently has been in Shameless since forever. And obviously... Charlie's wife, Michelle, played by Allison Brie, never to be confused with Brie Larson because they're never in the same room twice. They go to this nice house near, near a lake, has near a cliff overseeing a lake, and Mina gets into a testy exchange with, I guess, the co-owner's brother, played by Toby Huss. She's met because she wanted to rent the place, but her application was denied because... Primarily, she thinks she was Middle Eastern. Obviously, the exchange of, you know, you own the place by Huss, who looks like he could just be an A old hick out in the woods. Here's the thing. This is co-written by Joe Swanberg, who happened to help start the Mumblecore movement. Let me confess, I'm not a fan of Mumblecore. I think the films are too unpolished and they don't have enough going for them. That's just me. Let me start off by saying this. I think this is a good 88-minute debut by Dave Franco here because, hey, look, it starts out as, okay, two couples. They're going to have fun this weekend. There's drugs involved. There are possibly romantic tension between two other people of this group. And this film goes into the usual territory that I think to myself, did I really need this? And there also is one too many shots of a couple being looked upon. Essentially, it's the Jason effect. Someone is watching someone else from afar. I think there's probably a very good, fascinating film to be made about Airbnb itself is, how do you feel about running out your home to some other stranger? And as I mentioned previously, this runs a slim 88, 89 minutes. As Roger Ebert said, no good film is too long, no bad film is too short. But here's the problem. This film needs an ending, and it doesn't have one. And once we set up the initial premise, it becomes a slasher thing, because, oh yes, someone is in need watching them. It's the Creedy Brothers owner, and then something happens to him, and then... Of course, someone tries to flee. That never turns out well. Again, I like Dan Stevens. I like Allison Brie. And again, here's the thing. I want to see what Dave Franco does next. And apparently, Allison Brie is married to Dave Franco. I never knew that. The film is shot beautifully. This house is one of the nicer houses that I've seen in a while. Heck, I would even rent this house myself if I could visit this. When it comes to art house horror films in general, or again, I don't know if this is technically classified as a horror film, A204 is miles ahead of IFC. I don't think this is technically classified as an IFC midnight film. Then we see something at the very end of the closing credits, and you're just sort of like, really? I don't want to, I really don't want to see this as a art house franchise and folks what i'm gonna say about the rental and my apologies for heeing and hawing about how i want to rate this thing i i am going to give this a subsequent weekend rating because i think the first 45 to an hour or so are indeed effective enough so folks the rental have you seen this what you think please tell me everything in the comment box below your folks as always folks like comment subscribe earn yourself of knowledge I'm at Michael Rich, Rich Reese 2. I'll see you next time, folks. Yes, hooray.